guys, part of being a man is to be free. So face your fears. Destroy them. Challenge them. Play with them. Your fear is your IOI from now on. If you're afraid of something, go there and do it. And you'll see the brain is going to give up. Because the brain is a muscle. You, you, can, you can teach it anything. Yeah, at first it's going to stop it. But then guess what? Like, you know, get closer and closer. Play with it. Play with it. Don't live in a fucking bubble, in a comfort zone. Life is out. Life starts on the edge of your comfort zone. Whenever you did something crazy, stupid, you're afraid of, you had fun, you remember that moment. And that was like when you were enjoying your life. When you did things out of your comfort zone. So push your comfort zone every day. If you're afraid of something, that is an IOI, that is a direct indicator that you have to do it. Not run away from it, because that's not being a man. And you know what happens when a girl meets a guy that's not being a man? What are her instincts telling her? He's a woman. He's not a man. Her genes are telling her, don't, don't mate with someone that's not a man. Her genes, guys. It's not her deciding, it's her millions of years of programming, of generations, that's deciding, will she have sex with you or not. So you cannot cheat the system. You can't be like, they can feel molecules of fear, just like a dog can. They can feel the fear. So yeah. Be afraid for two months after it, you know, kind of fucking push it, push it, push it. One moment the brain is going to just fucking start giving up and say, okay, whatever, you know. I'm not fucking afraid anymore. Because you know what fear is? Fear is panic alarm. Brain says, no, don't go there, you're going to die, you're going to die. So basically, then you go there and you don't fucking die after five times, brain's like, fuck, you know, you know look, he's not going to die, it's okay, like, you know, there's no need for panic. That's what fear is. Fear will try to prevent you from dying. Because, you know, it, it's illogical. On deeper level, in a system, it's logical. But after you say to your brain, look, I've been there 25 times, I'm still alive, it's okay. The brain, unconscious, will stop causing fear because it takes, look, it takes lots of energy for a system to fucking block you, to put you in a, in a, in a, in a to freeze you, to paralyze you. It takes lots of energy. So the brain is going to stop saving, that, so basically it's going to stop wasting that energy. And we're just going to give up. It's OK. So guys, freedom. Being a man means being free. Then you can take the girls into your life and show them how it's cool to live the life free. Don't let emotions control you. Why that? Chris, my assistant, yeah. mini me. Say it. <laughs> Why? It's not good for emotions to control you. Because when emotions control He's you, my PR. You're not in control of yourself. Explain me more. Um. Why do emotions... What, what happens when... Who is controlled by emotions? Women are controlled by emotions. 100%. Okay. Look, you have to be in control of your emotions. If I feel nervous, I can control my nervousness. Just, I can just excel it and feel relaxed. I can love, but not be fully in love, be fucked up. And that's what you want to achieve. Be there, be with her. But still, you're kind of, you're involved, but you're not involved. You love her, you are with her, you give yourself fully, but you can step out any fucking moment you want. You have to control your emotions. You cannot be the victim of your emotions. 
And that's what lots of you guys are. You are victims of your emotions. Your emotions of fear, nervousness, happiness are saying when you're going to approach, when you're going to have fun, when you're not going to have fun. Being a man is controlling your emotions, being above your emotions, being strong. Keep your word, identity. You have to be a trustworthy person. When you tell a friend, we're going to meet tomorrow, make sure you meet him, you know. Whatever you tell, keep your word. That's, why, that's how you're going to keep people in your life. That's how you're going to become a quality person. Stay behind your word, what you say. Very important. Have a presence. Lots of you guys don't have it here. You're just kind of being what everybody else is. It doesn't have to be crazy, amazing presence. It has to be some presence. Be different. Don't blend in. Stand out. Have your identity, who you are. Know who you are, who are fixed, and show it. Carry yourself to the world. The world has two options, accept you or kind of ignore you. That's their problem. Guys, you have to masturbate on this, on this here. <laughs> Fucking go home and study this, you know. Each one will take you a week, months, but this is the end goal. Finish this. You don't need pickup anymore. Because right now, you're selling the goods that girls, they don't want to buy. Right now, you are selling a package, a product, the girls don't want to buy. That's why you're here. You change the product. You become a product that they want to buy, that they want to buy. You don't need, you just walk in the world. They will stop you. They will, they will do things to get you. Now. Let's go deeper. What are you looking for? My lovely assistant, Chris. Yeah. I'd say it depends. Sometimes I'm looking for sex and sometimes I'm looking for a girlfriend. Just so I'm in the mood or okay. the situation. Like Sometimes you like to cuddle. Yes. That's right. You like, you like to cuddle? Sure. I love to cuddle, you know, and I don't, you know, people don't believe it. Like, you know, I just, you know, kind of go home and just kind of cuddle with my friends. <laughs> yeah, with my kid, <laughs> with my girlfriend or my future girlfriend or whatever, you know, kind of. Just, it's fun. Or with my wife or whatever, you know. It's just good energy. So. What kind of game are you playing? I want you now to think about when you go out to talk with girls, who are you selling yourself as? <coughs> What's your name, your lovely name? Eva. Huh? Eva. Eva. Okay, you go to clubs. You, you're going out sometimes. sometimes yeah. Okay. So, and I assume some boys are approaching you, kind of, you know, kind of, and you know, kind of trying to chat you up and talk with you. Correct? How much time it takes you to put him in a category? You know, let, let's say, let's say, like you know. First, what are your categories? A good Sorry? A good dancer, but what about if he talks? If he doesn't dance? Let's say you're standing in a bar with a drink, you know, with your bottle of champagne. <laughs> you know, and he comes to you, hey, let me ask you something. Then I can see if he's confident to stop or not. 
There are three categories. Thanks. I try to pull it out from you. Friend, boyfriend, and fuck buddy. Girl will decide very fast, my friends. Very, very fast. Which one are you into? No, not you. You, what's your name? Why huh? are you leaving me? Lucas, when you see a girl, how long it takes to decide, would you like to fuck her or not? <laughs> Why not two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Few seconds. So what do you think, how much it takes for a girl to decide? And their brain is faster than ours, like double. Not even a second, say louder. Not even a second. So you come there, hey, let me ask you something. <laughs> what is going to think? Wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. Maybe it's going to work for a friend or for a boyfriend. If you're selling yourself as a friend, you want a, you, you want a girlfriend. Maybe that's going to work. Probably it will because you want to talk. Ah, look, ah, he wants to talk with me. He doesn't want to fuck me, finally, you know, someone. But that has to be clear, guys, 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 guys. That has to be clear. If you are trying to take a girl home as soon as possible, you cannot be running a cube on her, fucking seven hours of connection, material of trust, building bond, talking about your pets and whatever, you know, not, you know. Because then, in seven hours, you are in two hours. You're saying, I, I, I want to get to know you. I'm not only into the body. I want to uh, talk with you. I want to get to know you. I'm, I want to explore your personality. I want to be with you. And that's a boyfriend. So you have to be congruent with co what kind of game are you playing. You know. Your result, I mean, the process has to be clear. Right now, you're freestyling. You are all over the fucking place. You want to get the girl, but you're creating amazing amount of trust, connection, talking about her childhood. N not nearly. How long it takes to make a girl horny with, with your sexual energy? Less or, than one second. Say it louder. Why not two hours? <laughs> <laughs> no, and they did fucking two hours of material to make a girl horny. What the fuck are we talking about? You, there, that's where outer game, techniques come in. If you're only playing on inner game, it's not gonna work. You have to have those techniques. That's a technique. You can make, you know, you can talk with a girl and by doing right things, you can turn her on in a second. And now her panties are wet. But no, we need to do a cube. Imagine a fucking cube, you know, you know, a desert, and then put a cube somewhere, and then make her panties wet. No, that's you're becoming a boyfriend. So, analyze your material. Analyze what, what the fuck you're saying to the girl in a club. And think about in which category are you falling in, in her mind. So if I approach a girl and I'm like, hey, I like you, what's your name? Sophia. Sophia, nice to meet you. So tell me Sophia, you know, music can tell a lot about you. What kind of music do you listen? Different, almost everything. Almost everything, so like a Metallica and you know, punk as well? Yes, and also hip hop. What about when you're totally, re imagine, totally relaxed in your bedroom and there's a mu music playing. Like that's kind of making you feel relaxed. What is it? What? Chill out rock. Chill out rock. What I'm communicating here with this conversation, with this energy? It's between, it's between. So basically, I need to do some sexual, I need to add on some sexual elements. Topic about sex. Not topic, I can be like, you know we what? We already talked about my bed. 
<laughs> Me laying there, totally but, relaxed. But it needs two hours to go home to you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not really. Mm. You need to add some sexual energy. What happens if you talk with, with a girl for like um, 45 minutes with no sexual energy? You're not saying verbally and non-verbally that you want to fuck her. What, what her mind will decide? Fall asleep. Fall asleep or say, ah, oh, he wants to be friends. Yeah. But what if, if you're constantly, not constantly, every few minutes you're triggering her sexual energy? So you're doing like this. How do we call this in a medicine? In, no, not in pickup, in medicine. What's the difference between this and this? <laughs> Life and death. And that's your pickup, my friend, down there. You wonder why fucking girls are running away. There are two. There are two different processes when you are talking with a girl. Okay? You have to, you guys are more or less engineers, you, you guys are smart. When you 